Hello, my name's Tragic O'Hara and today I'm going to paint a canvas. Well, not, not a canvas. Before Christmas, I got a commission to paint David Bowie and I was going to film that, but... It descended into chaos. Um, I don't know why. It just did. So I thought I'd make a, I'd make a video painting something else. But it's not canvas. Like I'm not a big fan of painting on canvas. Um, I don't know why. It feels really bouncy. And then you get the wee stick things, and I've no idea what they do. So I'm not going to paint on canvas. I'm going to paint on wood. So I went to the timber merchants and bought plywood, which was a big deal for me because like um, I don't like doing things like that. I don't like going to buy tools because like I'm the type of guy that if I went into a DIY shop and I bought something and it was the wrong thing, I wouldn't return it. <laughs> I would I would keep it. I'd rather get the wrong thing than ask for help when it comes to stuff like that. I don't know, it's just ego, stupid. I don't know, it's that. I tell you what it is though. I don't think my tech teacher liked me very much. Probably, and he had his reasons, let's just say that, okay? He had his reasons not to like me. But like ever since then, when it comes to building things and stuff, like I just don't, I don't have, I don't think I have the skill set for that sort of thing. I've never had the confidence with stuff. And I'm terrified of power tools. Terrified of power tools. But that changes now. That changes now. So I bought a plunge saw online because I didn't want to go in the shop and ask for something. And I text my joiner friends, thanks Dave, to tell me what it is I needed. And I got a guide reel and I made, I, I said, I am, do, I am learning how to use this thing. This is happening. I'm setting it up. I'm going to learn how to do it. And I'm not going to rely on other people. And I'm going to learn how to use a plunge saw to cut about an eight by four plywood in half to make two four by four canvases or plywood that I can paint portraits on. So that's what I did. And then I couldn't do it, so I just texted my mate. <laughs> And I asked him if he could come help me, because I didn't know what to do. I was going to chop off a big bit of the guide reel and I didn't have a clue. So I really tried. I, did, I really, really tried, but I, 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 I didn't, it didn't work out for me. Um, but then, then the lockdown happened and my friend got COVID. So, back to try to figure out this, this, this thing, channel my inner manliness. But it turns out, it's just the rail. I don't know how to work. And that's a saw. It's just a saw. And now I'm gonna frame it and like I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that stuff there to frame it. So if it's a horrible jaggy edge, you're not gonna see it. So I'm gonna give that a go. <laughs> I did saw that bit, but I'm going to frame it <laughs> so no one will ever know. I tried putting it on my easel. It's just a fold away one. It's, it's, it's too heavy. It was going to buckle. But now that I'm a proper DIY power tool wielding man, <laughs> I used the other sheet to put it on that and the these workhorse things, what they're called, sawhorse, have these wee flaps that come out. So look at that for an easel. That's huge man. I need to prime it first before I do anything. So I'm going to prime it with white stuff. Prime it with white stuff. I'm going to prime it with white paint that I've got left over from the Santa commission. Probably start painting it tomorrow, I think. But I, I can't even believe I managed to get, I was pure, I was so worried about um, getting it wrong with the, with that thing. I totally neglected the fact that it's a saw. Like, I can just saw things in half. I need to have a bit more faith in myself when it comes to stuff like that. But I'm blaming my tech teacher, it's all his fault. <laughs> I'm 
I've been saving those caps up because I want to make a picture with them, like some sort of artwork. That's what I needed. It's never just an easy thing, is it? It's always something. I was going to paint MCA from the Beastie Boys, but I'm not anymore. There's a very specific space that hopefully someone asks me to paint that I would like to paint the Beastie Boys on because I think the fish eye kind of thing would look really cool in this particular space. So I'm not. I'm going to paint MF Doom. Unfortunately, Doom passed away in October. It was announced December 31st that um, MF Doom had passed away, which sucks, man. Like, it totally sucks. The best description I've ever heard of Doom is he's your favourite rapper's favourite rapper. Like, a true artist. Like, if you've never heard MF Doom, there's hundreds to go through. He's a massive back catalogue of stuff to listen to, so I'm going to paint MF Doom up on this. Just a true artist. Like, he was a proper, he'd done things his way. That was it. Doom, he was just, yeah, it sucks he's not here anymore. He had a vision. He had a vision. But what, you've got, what you'll notice, what you'll notice right now is that used to be white. That used to be 100% white, and I filmed the whole thing, but my GoPro keeps crashing, like it keeps corrupted, it corrupted, and I was, uh, just, so I'm glad I checked because I had a feeling, not that way, you just get a feeling, and, and I've, I've, I've missed all this, this process, but I'll talk you through it, don't worry, just know that on the GoPro thing, I was proper entertaining, like, <coughs> <coughs> I spilt my coffee and everything. Like I've had a, when you think about it, I've had a time. Like I spilt all my caps. I nearly took off one of my hands using the power tools and stuff. But the show must go on. What I've done here is I borrowed an idea from one of my favourite skateboarders, Nora Vaconcelos. I have no idea if I pronounced her second name right. Nora Vaconcelos. She rips, right? So basically, she was um, on a. Adidas made a documentary about her and I seen her do all these like a grip tape like she, she spray painted a grip tape and stuff and like I really like skateboarders like that like I like skaters that make other things and stuff like it's just I don't know like I like people that um, like they customise all their own stuff and things so she done this thing where she cut square stencils and she she done it with a surfboard and stuff as well and I was like that looks cool so I tried it with the David Bowie thing um, so what I done was I cut this stencil that's it and I picked some colours and I just spray painted them back up. That, that, that was it. You didn't miss much, to be fair, right? But like, I really like Nora Vaconcellos. Like, she's such a good skateboarder. And her art's really cool. There's a more in line and stuff. So mine are kind of like a mishmash. And it reminds me of the Hot Sauce Committee Part 2 album cover. Or like a New Order. I think New Order have got an album cover like that. Or I'm sure there's a Queen album cover as well that looks a bit kind of... Now, I'm going to take you through the whole thing, me painting the entire Doom. Now that I've got my background sorted out, like I like the fact that it's kind of messy and stuff. I'm going to doodle grid it. I'm going to put a doodle grid up there. I'm going to find a photo of Doom that I want to paint. I'm going to paint it up. I'm not very good at doing faces big, like, um, without the doodle grid. And I'm a great believer, if you find something that works for you, just do it, just use it. I always doodle grid stuff like this. So I'll use the squares a wee bit as a kind of reference, but I'm going to doodle grid round about here. And then what I'll do is, I'll talk you through the process, like just I'll kind of try and make it interesting because I know this camera won't fail on me. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. But I need to put my zoot suit on because it's freezing. See when I open that door, it's like proper chilly. That's me got my doodle grid up. If you don't know how to use a doodle grid, I've done a longer tutorial about it in a video I made called How to Spray Paint a Portrait. I think I've figured out what my problem is with the GoPro, I think. So either this is going to be a short video or I, or I got it working. That's it probably done for this stage, right? Two cameras, making sure. Now that I've done this bit, right? 
all I done was I used the spray paint to cover the whole kind of area, like the colours and stuff. Now I could sit with a bit of cardboard or something and stop the overspray. I like the overspray. I like the way it looks. I think I like the dirt. If I wanted it to look exactly like the photograph, I just printed out the photograph. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop it up there. Um, and this was something I never done for years because I thought like it wasn't allowed. You know what I mean? Like the rules say you weren't allowed to do it. But I now I use a brush. I, use, I used to use a brush and then I stopped because I thought that's not the, that's not the way it goes. That's not the. And then I seen Small do it. I was like, man, if he's using a brush and he's doing that stuff, I'm using a brush. <laughs> I mean, I use a brush now and I don't care who knows it. Like, so what I do is I like spray a bit onto the brush and then I pop it down, just like I seen Small do in that um, birds he painted. And he was using the brush and I was like, that's obvious, use a brush. So when I start going in this with the white and adding in the highlights and stuff and then working the eyes and thing, it'll, I'm hoping it'll proper start to pop. That's how I painted the Bowie as well. I use a can and I flatten it all out. I spray things together, I let it get dirty and then I get in with the brush and pens and stuff. Uh, I've also got, I'm afraid to touch there in case I knock everything down again, but like in that lovely rose tub thing, uh, I've got like golden acrylics and like Montana acrylics, like the really liquid based stuff. Don't use expensive brushes, just cheap nonsense because they're going to get ruined anyway. So. so that's what I'm going to do, man. i going to set this camera up. And oh shit, I stood there. Okay, that's not going to work, is it? Like the audio is going to be all over the place. Weapon. Reality cheats me and leads to aggression Want to break out this box that I'm stuffed down and kept in I reckon the dark road just got the damn I'm going to frame it, I'm going to frame it But um, not right now because like I need to figure out the Like how, where I'm actually going to attach it to and stuff Like I've bought the stuff and I'm, I, I need to cut things at like a 45 degree angle and stuff And I will do it If you want to see when it's framed go to my Instagram I'll be posting on my Facebook and on my Twitter I suppose I'll be posting everything up, there, up on that So at Mr Tragic O'Hara Right now though I'm going to be taking all this stuff home because it's lockdown time again so there's going to be lots of jumping between the house and here eh, while well, my wife works and we're homeschooling and all that sort of stuff which I'm sure you all understand it's proper early in the morning now so I could come down and do this I haven't even brushed my teeth which you wouldn't have known unless I told you and that's it I'm going to I, I'm going to sell them F them I'm going to list it on my site and put it up on things eh, up on my socials and whatnot and I'm going to start doing more of them as commissions. So now that I've done one, like I know how long it takes, I know um, how much the materials cost, all that sort of stuff. So I'm hoping I'll be able to set up like a kind of flat fee. Like this is how much it is and I can do any one you want. Four foot by four foot, so they're pretty big. And they'll be framed when I figure that bit out. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, and thank you very much for watching. And next time, well, a wise man once said, do you. And that's what he told me. The nigga said, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga like, you know what I mean? Yo, do you. And I'm like, do you? What's that? You know what I mean? I mean, I knew what he meant. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't really, I didn't grasp what he said till maybe a year later. You know, like that was, that was like the wisest statement I heard out of any book or anything I ever read. Or, or anything that could, you know, it's a lot of wise statements, but it's just off the top. Do you be yourself, and that's the best. That's the best thing you could do for for anything that's just, that that surrounds you. Anytime you try to copy something or maybe be, you're not being genuine to yourself. So when he said, "Do you," as simple as it is, off the top, that's the the wisest statement on a philosophical uh, proverb that I could think of. Off the top. Give me a couple of minutes, I could probably come with two more, but Rest in peace, Doom. Don't know.